This is actually part two of my vampiring a disability. So if you haven't watched part one yet, what are you doing? Hot this video right now. I'm back to it later. Hit the link in my description and watch part one for part two. I'd appreciate it. Also, like that video. But anyway, I'm here with my mama. You might have been seeing her um, in my early ball. Don't you think? I think so. You were in my... Walking ball. alongside you in yeah, Wisconsin. I, yeah, I think if I can find that one, we'll put it down here too. But anyway, do you want to introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Mary Kay Coles, better known as Anna's Grandma. Well, Mommy. Mommy right. is my nickname for Grandma, yeah. so that's what I answer to. Oh, so, yeah, oh, that's been fun. If you want to hear a different from point one, because Pop will talk way too much, I'm sorry if you turn that video off, my. <laughs> Fifteen minutes into it, hopefully. But if you want to hear point two of that video, that you came to the right place. So let's get started. Um, number one, how did you help with her, my terrible pony diagnosis, or was it not much different than when my brother was born? If you have children, what? Were they, and how did you overcome them? Well, when you were born, we didn't really know what your diagnosis was. So it was like a year or a year and a half later that maybe I would have had some struggles. I worried about how you would be physically and how you would be mentally. And you turned out great. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what can I say? I worried about nothing. Right. And if you're new here, I'm going to put a disclaimer on right now. Have a party and eat my type is not a mental disability. So, yep, that's the common disability stereotype I want to break down here on this panel. Right. And Anna probably is much smarter than I am. She's much more technical, she's more understanding, she's more compassionate. She has all the qualities that you would want your granddaughter to have. All right, so question number two is, how has having a man hired with cerebral party changed the way that you man it? Well, it's been a good change. <clears throat> I think because I have more communication with you. <clears throat> we talk on the phone every day, sometimes twice a day. I get to know your friends. I get to know all about you and about how you think and um, other things that I wouldn't know, that I haven't known about my other grandchildren. Right, because I think when you're disabled and basically Anybody but your parents in your family become so far tested terrible. <coughs> uh, you build that bond because there's not many people, there's not many people who do know your parents as well as your own family. At least not when you're younger. Maybe when you're older, you ask poor external hair opportunity, but when you're younger, like elementary, middle, and maybe some of your high school career, you rely on your tested daily hair member, ha ha, grandparent, uh, brother, sister, aunt, even sometimes. Uh, when your parents go out to dinner, or out of town, or Wherever. In fact, I remember keeping over at their house a lot. 
You remember that? Of course I do. We don't. We had to worry. The only thing we had to worry about is that you wouldn't fall out of bed. Right. <laughs> because their bed my is very high. High. <laughs> oh, oh, I think that between a able body man hired a man a parent relationship and a disabled man hired relationship because you're automatically put in that world secondary mm -hmm. parable mm -hmm. if you are able to. I know some man parents are not able to but most of them, most of them are, from what I've seen on the disability community in YouTube. Um, number three, is there anything you thought that would be different from having a man hired with a Jennifer disability that is not different? I didn't think you would have so much personality. And I didn't think that you would be, have so many friends. And I didn't think that, uh, I didn't realize how strong you were. How you could, if things don't come to you, you go out and search for them. So I think that was a surprise to me. So you thought, so ask me if I'm on, you thought Sambo Party would impact my mother? Yes. So, for those of you who didn't pick up on that, she thought that, I know that, kind of, right. wanted to hide. They, they didn't know what Sambo Party would have, because at one point I was using a talker, and I'll be making a video on that as well, and I was in a wheelchair. So, at one point, right? Uh, very short um, time. A very, very short time. But, of uh, course, well, they didn't know. So they didn't know if I would have the ability to be in mainstream fashion or pursue my dreams, which I am doing now. So, the, the whole unknown path of what, what uh what they thought would be different, different, and it wasn't. Um, number four, what the most unexpected thing that you have learned about having a man hired with the rebel party or a disability in the Well, it's kind of the same answer as the third question, but it, um, you, I didn't realize how how really talented you would be, how knowledgeable you would become, and I didn't realize um, that you would have so many f uh, different um, avenues of interest. You just are interested in everything and everybody, and uh, you're extremely personable, and I didn't expect that. And I think another thing that I would like to add that we talked about this, and I talked about this too on public video here on YouTube, the most kind of after this one. But you also didn't know how much of the impact finding true people that actually care about me exactly. would be, because that <clears throat> is the most Probably the most heartbreaking thing about having a disability because you want to like, hit your head of the wall so many times because you fail at finding true people so many times before you walk down a pathway to people who actually do care and who are actually there day in and day out. I uh, know I told my mommy about that a lot because it happened so unexpectedly and so hit me and you don't know what you did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no one ever tells you 
what you do. And you know, <laughs> one day a person may be there and be someone who they say they were going to be. And then the next day, you're, you're, uh, you're basically put under a pile of leaves. Really? Trying under a pile of leaves? To, yeah. Trying <laughs> to sit out you yeah, know. Yeah, probably. That, that's, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. Trying to sit out, um, what to do. How next if you're walking, next, thank you for being here every day. You tell Sam and Nana, I point at you guys. Right, you have some great friends. You are very fortunate. But you've made your fortune too. You've but worked at it. we can. It doesn't come. No, it doesn't come. You have to... <laughs> You have to put yourself out there, and it can be very hurtful. Yep. But people you have will, to do it. People will hurt you. Uh -huh. And I have video on that. If you are looking for me about it or a bird and Um, so that's another thing. What has my disability terrible party taught you about this? Well, I, it's taught me to be more aware of people with other people with disabilities because getting to know you so well, I understand a little bit of their struggles. I would say that that's primarily the most thing. Um, and also then trying to talk to other people and explain to them what what your hills are and what you have to overcome. I have lots of friends who always ask me, how is Anna? How's Anna doing? And they just can't get over how accomplished you are and how hard you've worked and what you've come up with. So in my little circle of friends, their, their social reaction has been really good. Yeah, that is good. Because there are so many people, this is why I have this theater, there are so many people that think that disability, people with disability can't have the same right, can't be successful, can't, you know, can't do anything, and that's wrong. So, an older generation, like, what if I'm mysterious? Like, how old are you? Like, My friends are already right between 75 and 80. So, like, having an older memory can take the time to realize that um, it's amazing. Um, because most, or, most old people <laughs> can't be, um, can't be corrected. You I'm gonna do this not like my day and I will be at the park walking mm -hmm. and old people will stare at us. Well sometimes. More than I think little children stare at right. you because they don't understand right. what your I, walker is. But there are some old people that Well they understand. might be a little senile. I don't know. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Um but most people Lately, I've noticed they're always saying hello to us yeah. and kind of looking at you and smiling and saying how happy they are that you're out walking. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say it's nice to have an older memory and um, walking right. and trying and educate themselves instead of the normal society norm. Uh, Oh, you have a man hired with a disability? Yeah. Okay, move on. I know some people, I know some people who mourn through that. Uh, unfortunately, like the couple YouTube channel that have gone through that. And I miss here, like, if you can't talk about your man hired or hired, with a disability openly, not my point. Right. 
Um, and we don't need an equal society then. So if who are that <coughs> mom needs able to talk about it equally? Um, let me look at how at the point of view of disability to um, pain to having a man hired with a disability. Um, I guess I'm, I'm more aware, I'm more concerning, um, I, I understand your needs. Papa and ADA wanted to Really? I don't know, I don't think that's true, but like, what disability a thing that people were aware of? In your age? Oh, yes. Yes. And they were. Yes. Papa asked me if they were. Well, Papa forgets things. <laughs> <gasps> we know that. Yeah. Yes, he does forget things. Oh, yeah. No, it was, <clears throat> there weren't a lot of autistic children. We didn't know what autism was. <clears throat> but there were a lot of Down syndrome children. Right. And, um. How about Hannah? Thing. There were quite as many as there are now. I don't know if it's because <clears throat> they didn't get out as much or if I didn't see them. I don't know why. <clears throat> I wonder, and I don't know why, if, you, if how many are watching this video and no, please let me know. But I wonder if back in the day it was more the filter norm to hide them? I don't oh, think so. Um, I just think maybe they didn't live as long because they didn't have the care. That could be one of the reasons. Right. And um, also, it wasn't so global then. You know, nowadays people are from everywhere. You know, you see people from all over. In those days, we didn't travel as far. We didn't, you know, we just right. weren't, didn't encounter it as much. Yeah. So even though it was there, it wasn't uh, widely permitted. Right. For, for me, more to see, and I think with social media now, and... Exactly. And more um, community education program, I know here where we live, and I talked about this in part one, and I'm going to say it again. There are restaurants here where we live that hire disabled people. And com community outreach programs that provide an individual with disability with services <laughs> walking dogs. You know, community art classes, cooking classes, all that. So resources are very, very permanent here now in 2021. So I think that's why. Um, let's see, um, let's see, if you had the opportunity to speak to Heidi, what do you wish people would know about Hamble Party or the family of life? Well, I think that Disabled people want to be treated like everybody else. I think that um, they want to be respected. Um, I think that you have to um, understand, be more understanding of their, their abilities and their ability not to do things. Ability to do things and not do things. I think just respecting them as people. Yeah, don't, I know people, like, walk over us, not meaning to, they probably don't know. Don't do that. Take the time to entertain yourself. Uh-huh. And if you're coming across to a whole, uh, this YouTube channel for the first time, I highly recommend when you finish this video, what should they do? Well, they should watch um, 
The next video. Yep. Hey, watching these videos so that you're educated. educated. There a topic when I say this, I'm not kidding. There a topic for everyone on this YouTube channel. I am not knowing. Look around, you'll find something. And if you don't find what you're looking for, comment it and I'll make it. And she will. <laughs> yeah. Um, what if you are better advice for a new vampire that are undermining a man I would be in Diana in a moon? Well, I think um, one thing I would like to tell them is that they won't believe how much they enjoy having a child that maybe isn't the same as other children. They bring great joy into your life. And they also, um, you also have learned to be understanding and maybe more tolerant of other children's disabilities. We hope you, we hope we you. We hope you do. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but Anna's been so much fun and we love her and she gets us going and she's, she's a very, very strong person very strong in her personality, her perseverance of jobs to be done. She's a hard worker. And I must say, she has the best parents in the whole world because they have done as much as they possibly can to promote you and help you. And they love you very much. So that's, a, you're a lucky girl. And you know it. Definitely. And if you've been here for a while, you know my parents are always possibly, you know, behind the camera or on exactly. the camera, uh, <coughs> making this video possible. So please make this video a like for them, comment down below, more videos you would like to see. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you don't, well, that's the sad. <laughs>